stream i hope everybody is doing fantastic thank you for coming to join me whether you're watching this in replay or coming to watch me live so this evening we are having a look at a game that has just come out on the ps4 now i know this game has been out for a very long time on the pc um and it went through many different problems um but it has finally come to the ps4 now um, i hear about this game and i watched a few videos of this game when it was out on the pc and i thought this game looks like good fun um and then i kind of forgot about it but then um one of the guy one of my subscribers he, he messaged me today and he was like ah oh, it's stranded deep it's out so i thought i had to jig around all all my uh, schedules and live streams and I thought tonight we would do a bit of Stranded Deep. Now, I haven't experienced this game yet, so I have no idea what to expect. But I thought, hey, we'll experience it together. We'll have a look. Um, and throughout the video, gang, I'll give feedback on what I think of the game. And, of course, those of you that come and join me, don't forget to write down what you think of the game as well. So, um <laughs> Let's jump onto it without much further ado. Uh, yeah, we'll leave everything a standard to start with. I just want to to load it in. Yeah, so now I am really excited about this game. Um, it's basically, I played a lot of other games like Subnautica and, and Ark and stuff like that. Oh. Pretty cool little entry style. So clearly we start off in a plane, the plane goes all wrong, and then we become a bit like cast away by the looks of it. I'd be cool if that was open and you could see what was going on. Oh, okay, I'm out cold. Get to the life raft on the surface. Oh, I thought that was the surface. Um, I'm assuming I go out through here and then go up. Hey, we're on the surface. Wow, that's pretty funky. Hope oh, there's a life bar. Now that was a cool little intro. I really like that little intro. That was pretty cool. Right, so let's see what happens and where we're at. Hello, Shane. How are you, sir? So, I hope you're well, mate. I'm enjoying lockdown. Right, so we just gotta wait for this to load. Um, there we go. Oh, and look at us. We had a little life left. Set a sea anchor. That means there's other things. Press to pick up the paddle. Right, I'm going to want a paddle. And then we've got a storage. Uh, hold square to operate. And that's row right boat. Let's go over there. Row, row, row your boat. Jack. This is pretty cool. So, can I, am I going Let's try and navigate in through here and see how we get on. Ah! <laughs> okay. I think I'm stuck. Alright, can I drag the raft or anything like that? Alright, let's put the paddle back on for Hold to attach. Now what? Oh, I can do it. There we go. L1. Oh, you can drag your raft. So let's drag it. Oh, not that way. I, want, I don't want to go out. Let's drag it up on the mainland. Come on. There we go. Now, I can't see where I'm going. Uh, that will do. Oh. Hey, there we go. Okay. So, can I put my sea anchor in? There's two shadows to deploy the sea anchor. Okay, I can't anchor it to the ground. All right, and we've got storage. Oh, what have we got? 
So it's giving us some food by the looks of it. Tins of food, three of them. It's giving us a compass and it's giving us duct tape. Just in case we meet someone that's super annoying and we need to lock them up. Okay, so um, when you first start, it's obviously giving you some missions to complete. So let's say, but hang on, let's, let's, let's have a quick look. So first of all, yeah, this is pretty nice. It's nice that you can see like loads of islands in the distance and stuff. That's pretty cool. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Like, the graphics are pretty cool. Yeah, you can see all the little fishies. You can see all the little Nemos. Ah, I've got crabs as well. Hello, crab. Actually, I wonder. I want to see if we can do something here. Ha ha ha! Oh. Hey! We killed a crab! Bit of grub. I'm having crab legs for dinner tonight, even though it was like super small. Uh, uh, Getty, sup? First time I've seen you live. I may get there, but not sure. I'm rather get snow runner over this. Yeah, like I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get snow runner as well. Um This is just like someone told me that, about this game and I was like, oh I gotta give it a go because I have heard a lot about it and I thought, oh let's give it a go, right? They've got some planks there, we'll remember them for future. So what else is around here? So we gotta get two rocks. Okay, we always hold the first round. That's a bit weird. It'd be nice if we just went straight into... I don't know. Do you know... That whole... There you go. Like, inventory power along the bottom that you got an arc. That would have been maybe nicer. Right, so you can... I'm going to attach it. Can I... I can't do anything with the rock. I'm literally just holding it. Okay. So, uh, open the inventory screen. And craft... A stone. There we go. I've done that. Craft then. Let's craft. Oh. Uh, use the L1. Ah, wicked. There we go. So, if you hold down L1, it lets you choose what you want to... Okay. It's not letting me choose. That's random. Uh, hiya Tom, Farmer Tom, uh, I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, watch out for the man eaters, I mean <laughs> shark, sorry man, it's easy to tell. Another game is coming out soon. For 15.99, how long do you think it is? I'm not entirely sure. Now the download wasn't that big either. Like, it was a very quick download, I've done it really, really quick. Open the crafting menu. And, and highlight the, yeah okay so use r3 to ping it cool so you can ping it to your thing right and craft the, a yucca tree huh <laughs> come on then. i'm going to use that What happens if I beat us? Does it gonna give me you can make lashing from fibrous leaves from a lacquer tree? Okay, so this is slightly different because usually like in most survival games particularly if you if you just hit I think it naturally goes into your into your inventory, but a clear of course in this you gotta actually pick them up once you got it. That's pretty cool. So craft a redefined knife. Oh, I need to create lashing first. There's no like... There we go. Press triangle to see your survival watch. Ha, huh, cool. Uh, to cycle through. Ah, wicked. So this is like a tablet that tells you how good you're locking and so that's health, food and water. And then you've got your skills. 
and then you've got your status of facts and that's telling you you're healthy as i got my step counter as well items crafted for animals killed island explored ships scavenged that sounds pretty cool so skin the crab using the redefined knife Ooh, i don't like that noise So how do I get out of my backpack? I'm just pressing button there trying to get out of my backpack. Oh, that's my watch again. I don't need my watch. So. Okay, I can't. Oh, there we go. So. Um, building, crafting. Consumables, story, farming, vehicles, building. Okay, so I clearly can't get out of my backpack. How do I get out of my backpack? Uh, R1 is crafting. Press instead of hold. Du, 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 du. It's $19.99 plus tax on the USA. Hello, mate. Play this game on PC very hard. Um, thanks. You, you're really making me feel confident about playing the game, Paul. But cheers. Um, hi, Dave. Hi, David. How you doing, mate? Oh, oh what's that? I need to cool down. Um, let's go for a swim. Um, I wish there was co-op. If you play snow runner, use the steering wheel. I hope. I uh, uh, heard any more about Farmer's Dynasty. Um, I've heard absolutely nothing from Farmer's Dynasty, so I can't. It won't let me. Hang on, what happens on the D pad number? Nothing. So we're saying to. I can't even get. It said everything went to my backpack, so why can I not access my backpack? Okay, I don't need that. I need my backpack. Hey! Oh, okay. Redefine to use. So you just got to press L1. And now what? Use. So how do I skin it? Sorry guys, like I'm literally just Right, so I'm assuming that I do that and then I choose my redefined knife. Ah there we go. So you gotta drop the crab, hold square the skin. Yeah baby. Okay, cool. Right, uh, one day when the boss, okay, I can't see what it all is. So, place down a campfire. So, let's go in our crafting menu. I'm assuming that is going to be in there. Campfire. So, I need four st sticks for that. So, let's go hunting for some sticks. Don't need that now, so there we go. They're planks. I don't want planks. I need sticks. Okay, squares to jump. There's a stick. More sticks. Give me more sticks. Uh, all right. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, I did. I was concentrating on trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, I didn't look at the comments, but thank you. <laughs> we got there in the end. Uh, evening, Dave. How are you? Uh, yeah, everything's good, my end. Thank you very much for asking, mate. How's things your end? All right, let's go and explore around the beach. Let's see if we can find some more sticks. I don't need any more crabs yet. I need sticks. Give me sticks. Right, the movement's nice. You've got... I think the movement of the game is actually pretty funky. Like, 
I take some getting used to because they're slightly different. But yeah, I like it. That's nice. Oh, we've navigated all the way around and there's no small sticks. We need uno more stick. What's this over here? Corrugated scrap. Cool, we'll come uh. back for that. What the hell? Did that crab just bite me? We'll grab that though. How dare you? What did I do to you? What is that? That doesn't look pretty. Trying to fool all the games. Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. All right, lucky for me, it's, it's payday today. So I was uh, fortunate enough to get... So there's stone there. I'm looking for one more stick. Like, they really give you sparse resources, which is... Oh, I guess. Alright, let's get rid of that. Okay. That's better. I can actually see what I'm doing. So we got to look... The water looks orange. What does that mean? It looks like someone's taken... It looks like one of those public toilets you go into. That is pretty grim. Now, pretty grim. Uh, I have got drug dealers simulated today. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had a look at that game, to be honest. Like, well, I, I don't even need to ask what it's about, really, do I? You can kind of guess what it's about. Right, come on. Give me a stick. I need one more stick. And then we can progress. Get a fire going. Get some meat on the go. And get some food in us. So let's have a look. Don't bite me. Ah, stick. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go over back by the boat. I don't want to drift too far from the boat. I want to keep everything close together to start with. Um, and then maybe we'll explore. But this area looks alright for a little bit of survival. Actually, I might build in here. Bit of shelter. So let's go in there. Camp. Craft. Ah, and there we go. So you simply just do that. There you go. And now what? Craft some kindling. So kindling. Kindling. Ah, oh, we need more. Uh oh, it's dark and I haven't got. <laughs> Uh, kindle them. Let's see if I chop this tree down, if it gives me... That guy is insanely dark. Very, very quickly. Hopefully that's dropped some more than one wood. No? Okay. Well, I guess take this one down then. There we go, so now we can craft, oh I've lost my fire now, oh, hey there's my fire, okay, so, let's get some kindling, uh, get some kindling and use it to light the fire, so, the kindling, oh, kindling, right, Hold square to light. Yeah, we're going old school. Ah! Oh. Uh, you got a Spanish spanish This is proper cool. Hey, fire! Uh, no, I don't want to extinguish it. Okay. 
Attach the meat to the campfire and let it cook. So, use. Attach. <laughs> Look at that! That is super cool. I like that. Okay, so does that mean it's cooked now? Does it take a certain amount of time? So, small meat. Will it change the cooked meat once it's ready or something, I'm assuming? Right. Next mission. You can climb up trees. This is cool. Clearly not that one. This looks like a coconut tree. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh shit. Now what? Oh coconuts. Ah! Coconut. Hey! Let's climb down the tree. That is so cool. Look at this. Hey, we got a coconut. Now let's head back to the fire. Right. Drop and clean the coconut with a defined thing. So. Um, I gotta figure out how to drop it again now. <laughs> drop! Ah! That's not drop! Um, okay. Drop. Ah! Hold it. Sorry. Hold. And then I need that. Coconut. Ah, stop rolling. Come here. Run away, coconut. Now what? Drink from the clean cup. Hold you. Ah, oh, baby. Nothing like fresh coconut. All right, cut down palm tree and cut the palm. I need a palm tree. I gotta cut down a palm tree. Why are they cut down a palm tree? They got coconuts then. Oh well. I do what I'm told. Hello, Anthony. How are you? Uh, rating from 1 to 10. Like, so far, it's got to be timber. It's got to be a solid, like, oh, what would I say it is? I would say it's, like, look at that, though. You can't deny that visually, it's beautiful. Um, I suppose once you get used to everything, it will get so far I would definitely give it a solid a solid seven. Oh, I've got a, there we go like but that's only because I'm not used to it I'm still trying to figure out the controls and there's loads of different controls like if you hold a button rather than press a button it has a totally different action instead of using what I'm used to with arc you know with like the whole like just combo buttons like L1 square and, and all of that it would just it makes sense to me to have that instead of press or, or hold that's just going to be kind of annoying um, uh, does the game prompt what to do the entire game um, so basically when you first start out it starts out like this it just tells you Oh, press to pick up. Not enough room in the inventory. Okay, that's fine. Right, now what? Place down a shower. So, let's go. Oh, wrong button. The shower. Oh, I still need some... 
some shit for that. Okay, um, I need a yucca tree. One of those yucky trees. Uh, yucky trees. What's that? That's a palm. That's a tree. Yucca tree. Whoa, where are you going? Like, I like this though. Like, the have to look for what you've cut down and pick it up. I really like that. I think that's something that's pretty damn cool. And something like that feels quite nice and unique. If that makes, does that make sense to you guys? But yeah, I quite like that. That's really, really cool. And this whole like experience so far is very positive. Like visually, I'm in awe. This this game looks visually beautiful. It is just getting used to oh, hang on. Right, so can I drop that? Right, there we go. Right, record. Let's pick that up again. And now, what else do we need? Like, just getting used to everything. There we go. Uh, we need three sticks. So let's cut down a tree. Just poke it with your knife until you get something useful. <laughs> Like, hi Doctor, I really like it so far, it's, it's different, I like different, it's, it's gonna be pretty addictive, I'm just, but once you get used to it, hang on, let's work this shower out, I want this shower by the fire, but not too close to the fire, yeah, place, hey, oh, I put it the wrong way round, Oh man, I got to move my fire now. Okay, press hold X to sleep and save. Uh, I want to sleep. I didn't eat. Whoops. Um, try searching. Yeah, I did, but it's not popping up. Um, like, I just like search for it. And then it, it just came up instantly in the store. So I got an empty campfire. So let's get some more kindling on the go. Oh, no, I'm not doing this right. There we go. Right, I got kindling there. Campfire that fuel. There we go, so it tells you where it's cooked, so it's saying small cooked meat there. Um, right, let's work this out. Let's empty some crap out of my... So, I'm going to eat some meat. Let's eat it. Yum, yum. Bit of meat. Better cook crab. Okay, so... Da, da, da. Yeah, I'm in North America. Don't see it. Um... Maybe double check in there. I know they might have had different times for different regions around the world. So it might not be out in your region yet. Um, uh, if your infantry tree is full, you can drop things on the floor in a pile. As long as you are standing close to that pile, it acts like your infantry. Ah, oh, fantastic. There we go. I'll probably do that. Um, I'm in Seattle. It shows... Uh, Seattle, USA, boo. Found it, thanks. It's all the way at the bottom. Hey, I'm glad you found it. Room all sorted. Uh, hello, Leo. Chicago, eh? Like, welcome, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for coming to join me. I hope you're all doing great. Um, if you are enjoying the stream, though, guys, please don't forget to drop a like and, and whatnot. Um, it really helps me out. Um, right, my prompts have all finished so now it's like okay i've got to survive now so let's go in here and that's oh wrong button let's 
Ah, oh, press it. See, this is what I mean. Like, if you you gotta hold it, press it, select it, and then if you wanna come out of your inventory, you press circle. But if you wanna drop it, you gotta hold circle. And like that just feels a bit annoying. Right, I wanna light the fire. Well, it's not out of you. I'm holding kindling. You dope. Kindling. So yeah, okay, I'm just gonna drop all that. Um, that's come out of that, I'm gonna get, and then hopefully, that, yeah, that stays there, wicked. I'm going to use this here as my little, like I've, I've really gotta get used to that. And there we go. So everything is there. And then I've also got some tarp. Now, why will you not let me relight this fire? Hold. Does that mean like I've got to rebuild the fire? Uh, keep it up, buddy. I'll give a thumbs up and a sub. Ah, oh, thank you, dead freak. Um, where are you, when you are in the water, go around the edges of the water, look out for the purple starfish as they're poisonous. That is a great tip, thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, so much you can do, <laughs> I know, isn't it? It's one of those things, it's like, uh, what do I do now? Like, prayer, yeah, I, I can, yeah, do whatever. I've got what I need though, I've got myself a shelter, i got myself a fire, even though I can't put tinder on the fire to, to get the fire going again. Like, there we go, i got a tarp there, and a coconut there ready to drink. Uh, I, I need to pick that up, I'm going to lose that, and I'm going to put him down. Look at me being all organised already, this is amazing. I'm, I'm actually really impressed at how organised I'm being here. And then, let's put down all of that as well. Now, I hope they just don't disappear, because that would really annoy me. Now, why can I not... So, this is what I don't understand. Now, why is it not letting me put relight the fire? i got kindling in my hand. Well, at least I thought I had. Yes, I do. Right, use. But it's saying out of... Okay, that's really going to frustrate me. But hey, we'll work it out. Right, so let's drop that. And resume the game. There we go. We've got kindling there. Loads of kindling. Uh, da, 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 da. You need to add palm fronds to it. Palm fronds. You don't mean like the oh, I guess sticks. Palm fronds. Okay, let's let's see what this is all about. Cause that's just going. Ah, look at that. Okay, right. I'm with you now. I'm I'm with you. Right. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, dog mate. You're you're an absolute superstar. Okay, so. I suppose first things first, let's go on a hunt. And let's see if there's anything like are these the little star purple things you're talking about? So Gregor things too annoyed I think. Uh how'd you get on the PS4? Uh hi Kitro. Um you basically just I went into the store and I just typed in standing stranded deep and there it was on my store for me to purchase so i just purchased it mate Ooh, what's this oh that's pretty it's a bit of coal yeah a bit of a ship right there. like look at this visually you can't deny guys all right let's go under the water look at that oh shoot there's a shark out i think i might get out of the water now but you get you get what i mean by that is visually beautiful. 
Absolutely cracking. And then just look at this as well. Is that another tarp? Brilliant. More tarp. Right. It is phenomenally beautiful. You cannot deny that. Come here. Oh, I got away. Oh, there's the purple starfish there. So there are things to avoid. I'm going to take all that as well. And I've got some... Ah, ah, ah. Ow! Ha! Eat that. Yeah. Oh, I guess gone. For me, it's new games like Third in a Row, Predators, Pre-Order. Uh, it's on the new games list, Third Row. <laughs> I, I like the way that you have like a list of uh, of all the different games you're going to buy and you order them in priorities. That That's very organised. I am no way that organised. Like, I'm literally one of those people, ooh, new game, let's get it, let's play. And then I end up... Just get out of it. Oh shoot, I'm gonna die because crab now and I die. There you go, let's skin some more meat. Let's get loads of meat. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's quite funny actually, well yeah. Right, okay, so at the minute I'm just whizzing around and just seeing what I can find and Hello Vera. Hello Vera. So we're just going to gather up loads of stuff. And it gives me a chance to have a look around the island as well. Like you can see some islands in the distance there which I want to get to at some point. So we're going to create a raft and and take a little run over to the mall. That will probably come later in the series. But, um, no, so far, this, this game is actually pretty cool. Uh, what's that? Oh, I can't, I got, I think there's storage. There we go. Oh, that's our one, right. So we've got duct tape in there, right, okay. So, let's put some more. Right, I'm getting used to the controls now, which is good. And I love this. This is amazing. This whole light and fire business. There we go. We let that cook. Right, what have I got myself? So, let's have a look in this crafting now. Why we're here, let's see what we can get up to. So we can get some fire torches, we get some axes, hammers, spears, fishing rods. Fishing bobber? Okay. And then you've got, continues on, you can get a bow and arrow by what I think I saw there. That's pretty cool. So what else have we got? Fire pit. A fire split. I think we should build a fire split because that. Am I going to be able to do it here? No, it looks like it's going to have to go on the beach. So I'm probably going to have to relocate down onto the beach. I'm thinking maybe down here. It's nice and pretty. No, okay, you won't go there. I'm going over here then. Come on in, please. I'm assuming that means that I haven't got something that I need. Ah, that's right. So, pin it. So, if you press inspect, it tells you what you need. So, I need a rock and a campfire. So, we're going to have to cut down some more trees. I'm wondering whether these trees will come back. I hope they better come back, otherwise I'm screwed. Right, 
I guess you haven't played a co-op like this before. Um, it's very different to like most. Like I played a lot of Ark. I played Ark for a very, very long time. And we played the Long Dark. Like I played quite a few different like survivory, subnautica sort of games. But I don't know what it is, but this feels very different if you get what I mean. Like it's not the same as the ones that I played before. So I need to craft a fire. Where can I put my fire? Can I put my fire here? Place. And now the fire pit. You can't bear it here, there's something in the way. Right, pick up like that. Pick up that. Pick up that. And now I got to try. Fire pit. No, I mean the house is in the wrong way. Okay. What happens if I do that? Can I cut this down? Yes, I can. Oh, that's cool. So you can do that. Right, okay. Get in the hang of things now. I'm understanding what I need to do. So, first things first. Let's put the fire pit around that first. So that is done. Then, now we need to gather all those tools again to be able to do this. So that means I need to drop down. Uh, drop. 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 Now, where is that fire gone? There it is. Okay. And there's tinder in there. So that's pull that down as well. Right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> I say that I'm going to make some, like, massive mistakes now. Any more? Oh, that's a trunk, isn't it? I can pick that up as well. Oh, you must have some super arms to be able to do that. Okay, so, oh, wrong button. I still need some more bamboo shoots. Um, 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 oh, oh, that's coming. Let's get this fire going again. Where's it gone? Ah, oh, it's in my hand. I got There we go, okay, wicked. We've got the fire going, so we've got to put that down. Just so I can find where I am again, and that's... Ah, there we go, there's a tree. Dirt. Cut this down. Yeah, I'm assuming the more sticks you add, the longer it will go for. Just get this palm tree down quickly so we can get all the leaves. Um. Oh, is that my thing broken? I didn't realise things break. Okay. So that's something we're learning. I, I should have guessed that things break, really. Uh, what does that say? I need some stone. I'm sure I had some stone. Oh, no, I've made a mistake here. I should have left it. You can't add more to it. Wow, it feels like it goes dark a bit quick. 
if you get what I mean. Does that make sense to you guys that it goes dark a bit too quick? Like I feel like I'm spending most of my time in the dark when I should be Like, I don't know. Chuck your hunger and thirst. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I might have lost track of everything. Where's me coconuts? Okay, in my... Ah, there we go. Use. Ah, oh, that one's dead. Okay, I'm going to have to make and then circle. Where's that coconut? Bit of, bit of juice. There we go. I don't know what coconuts are useful, but I'm going to have to chuck them over there. Cook meat. Let's eat something. I'm assuming that's it. Hold to attack. There we go. We've got some meat on the go. Use. Really? Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Like, this game is definitely going to take a little bit of getting used to. Right, there we go. Come on. I need these. Fibrous leaves. I can stay there. I don't need that at the minute. Wicked. Got this fire going again. Wicked. Oh, you can hit them with the thing. That's cool. All right, let's give that a go. Anti coconut. Oh, amazing. That is cool. Okay. That's a, a nice chip. Thank you for pointing that out. Thanks, Brad. You're a legend. Right. So, where am I at? I need to get... I'm going to have to take down a big coconut tree. Because I need... To make a new shelter as I dismantled my old one. Me being normal, a sensible person dismantled my shelter and ended up have a oh shit. Whew. I don't know if they hurt you but excuse the language. Sorry I, I'm only I'm realizing that my do you know those moments where it just like slips out? Because like, I've been playing with like friends a lot, I've kind of got into a... Well, you, if you came in or watched my, my Call of Duty game with my friends, then... Oh, it's a young palm tree. That's cool, so it recycles itself. And another one. A more coconut. And my fire's gone out again. Alright, this is... 
I wish you could add more to it. You ah oh, okay. No that come on. I get the hang of this now, so you can add more wood. Right, at first I was like, you can't add more to it. But apparently you can. My bad. Oh, this is still going to get to get some use to, but right. So we need a shower again. So we need some kindling. I'm going to have to cut down some more things. Can I cut this stuff down? No, that's nothing. It's useless. Okay, let's cut this down. And let's try and get ourselves to a point where we can... Come on. Come on. No go. Like I'm just making a total mess of this island, you know. Like I'm, I'm really sorry, island. I do need to name the island. What can we name the island, folks? Uh, is that enough to build a shower? Yeah. And now I need some. Lashing. Oh, I need to find water. Ah, oh. okay, that's going to take a lot of them to get to a point where I'm at. I'm just going to drop them there for now. I don't need them. I need a yucca tree. Tree. Come here, Mr. Yuccas. Yucca. The yucca tree is the stuff that you need to make string. Come on, Mr. Yucca. Maybe you can't harvest it until it's ready. That's me making assumptions that I'm, I'm not 100%. That's a palm. So we're looking for more yuccas. We need yucca trees. Or yucca, whatever they want to call them. But I'm renaming them yuccas. No, I can't do anything with that. That's just a tree. That's just a tree. Just a tree. That's a palm. I know there's a yucca here. That's the only yucca that's coming out. Any improvements over the PC version? Oh, sorry, Godney. Um, yeah, it's nice. I'm really enjoying it. It's a, quite a nice little experience, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't played the PC version, so I've got nothing really to compare on. Um, the only thing I can really compare it to are other survival games that I have played. And it's it's fun. Thank you. It's really fun. It's just getting used to it. I think I just hit. Like, it's just getting used to, like, all the controls and everything. Because, like, on a lot of, like, games I'm used to, I'm used to the whole, like, combo buttons in order to do tasks. But in this, if you press a button, it does one thing. But if you hold down a button, it does something totally different. And, uh...
So you can't see it. I don't even know seeing that as well. If I look one way, it's saying that I have some stuff for lashing. But if I look another way, it's saying I haven't. Does that mean there's someone on the floor by me? Oh, but look at that. That's a yucca. Like, I'm slightly confused by this game. I need to get just play it more and get used to it. Right, just to, to figure everything out. Because uh, it's actually... I've actually screwed up quite a lot. I got rid of my shelter when I really should not have done that. I should have kept it and braved it. But clearly, me being one of those people where everything has to be absolutely perfect has screwed up and I got rid of my shower. And now I haven't got any... So the moral of the story, folks, is do not just get rid of everything. Try and keep everything as best as you can. Because now I am screwed because I am out of yucca. And I need some, I need some string to be able to cut, tie down... a campsite um so yeah when you do things guys take your time with everything don't rush through it like i've been rushing through it take your time figure everything out i've rushed it because of the whole darkness coming in no i don't need a tree i need yucca Yeah, that's it. And that's the thing about any survival game, isn't it? Like, you make mistakes, you learn from your mistakes, and then uh, you kind of die. <laughs> and then you go again. Right? But I'll figure it out. We'll get there. But at the minute, there's no more yuckers. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, look at that. Bats! Uh, I'm scared. I'm going close to the fire. Uh, that was kind of like ah, one of those moments. Like, oh my god. I'm hoping if I stay close to the fire they'll leave me alone ah but if you go in the fire you don't die so that's great ah I thought I put the thing down okay Oh, I'm out of water as well. I need to go find some coconut. I need to go to sleep, but you can't sleep without a building. But I can't build a building because I don't have any string. So yeah, so this is what I mean by really just taking your time with it, folks. Uh, once you get a building, don't go demolishing it because... Uh, I wonder if I... Yes! So I'm going to have to get rid of some of these little plants in order to get enough string to be able to build a shower. Okay, so the little palm trees also give you... Also give you your... A bit of the stuff you need to make string. So bear that in mind as well, folks. 
Like these little young palm trees. Four. And oh, there we go. I've got enough. So. Let's build. We need some lashing. Oh, wrong button. And then, now. And now, at least this bag of fire, facing the fire, I'm happy. So I'm going to go to sleep now. Whew. I got to sleep through the night. Right. And there we go. So we survived the night, which is great. Now I need to find some water. So let's go find some coconuts. Because obviously you can't drink seawater, because drinking seawater is bad. What have I got on my inventory? Nothing. Like, oh, I'm crouching all the time. There we go. I need coconuts. Doesn't look like there's any coconuts up there for water. Let's hop around and try and find some water. Like, there must be a way at some point in which I can actually make some water. Like, it's raining. Will my boat catch a water? No. Let's see if there's any sort of water. A water still. So what's that? A coconut flask. Fish and bubber. Can't make a coconut flask yet. A two belt bird snare. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Now, this is beautiful. You cannot deny the beauty and the effort they have put in to this. This is insanely good. Right. Are you going to show me a flash? Are we actually going to get some light then? That is quality. That is so cool. Like, insanely cool. Is it worth it? Personally, just for the visual of this game, I would say, yeah. If you're into your survival games, sorry, I'm talking really loud just because that storm is really, there we go. Okay, um, just because of this visual porn we're experiencing at the minute, I would say 100% this game is definitely worth it if you like your survival sort of simulation game if you like games like subnautica the long dark and all of them games imagine them but maybe a bit more visually pleasing than them like i think like subnautica was a fantastic game i was addicted to subnautica i couldn't stop playing it but then there was no real dramatic environments like you didn't have days where the sea was really rough or anything like that it was flat calm 24 7 but yeah just something like this is so visually cool i would 100 percent say that this is worth it like i would put maybe say like i don't the buttons are gonna take a bit of time to get used to but I suppose that is something that comes with any game when you first start any survival game. It's quite difficult to start with. 
a Jura. I have no idea what that is, but I'll leave that for now. But like, yeah, 100%, I would say this game is worth it if you like your survival games. 100, it's, it's so... Like, I've only been on this game now, what, an hour? And I'm actually pretty hurt. I can definitely, I can see myself spending a lot of time playing this game. And I'm definitely going to probably do a few episodes uh, on the channel, maybe a couple of live streams for it and, and everything like that. And yeah, 100%. If you, if you want a good game to play, this is probably up there as one of those games that you might want to look at. Right, where we are. So, a water still would be nice, but of course to get a water still, I need one of them. How come it's not on my PS4 store yet? Um, I'm not entirely sure, Ethan. Um, I know that different regions had different release times, so maybe it's not released. Um, maybe it's not released in your region yet. I'm not 100% sure why it's not. I literally just typed in. I literally just typed in the whole stranded deep in my PS4 store, and it was there for me, mate. Um, so why it's not there for you? I'm not entirely sure. Sorry. So where is a meat smoker, a furnace? Wow, there's loads of things that you can make in this game. What else have we got in here? We can have tables, we can have shelves, bird snares. Like, I can't seem to be able to find though. Empty coconut drink. So why can't I not make... Fibulously... That one. Here's the question. Do you reckon this will light in the fire? Uh, okay, it, it still lights. Cool. Random. Cook meat. Let's get some food in us. Let's check our watch. Our water's still low. I oh, guess what we were trying to work out, weren't we, before we got carried away, we were just like looking at this. Like. Uh, I had to restart my PS3 three, three times before it came up. So, uh, yeah, you just got to keep trying it. Um, I, like I said, I literally just went into PS4 store, typed in Stranded Deep, and there it was, beautifully ready for me. Just clicked on it, and it was good to go. Um, ooh, they respawn really quick. That's handy to know. Uh, I watched a bunch of PC services, just didn't know if it was clunky or not. No, it moves. The movement is really good. Now, look at that. The moon's coming up now. Um, the movement and the moving in this game is actually really, really good. Like, I can't deny that. It's, yeah, it's pretty... It's, it's, yeah, it's really good. Like, I know a lot of these games where you first get them, there's usually a bit of clunking, a bit of, a bit of jittering. Um, and I know a couple of people did say that. I'm just going to save it. I know a couple of people did say when the game first came out, they were having problems with uh, the whole movement, the X, Y, and access being inverted and and stuff like that but but they released a oh, you can't sleep again so soon i just went to sleep too early <laughs> god what am i like um but then they released an emergency patch not long after the game was released so i'm guessing they they fixed a lot of those problems then so yeah the, the, it's actually move you can move really smoothly really well no issues whatsoever so yeah 100% if 
you're looking for a new game to play and you want a survival game this is definitely up there with one of those ones that you might want to consider um and yeah so that's pretty much it now i'm not going to spend too long I, I what i need to do i need to go off stream and and just tuck in really get into the grips get used to the controls get just get the hang of everything so i think i'm going to leave the stream here and um and yeah and pretty much so overly guys is the game worth it if you are into your survival solo player single player games 100 percent, this game is visually beautiful like everything is synced up nicely it's very non-forgiving in a way that technically yeah okay technically speaking i should have been died by now um I've been really lax with my water and with my food. But it is 100% definitely a game that's worth looking into. Um, overly, now after that storm and I saw how visually beautiful this game is, I'm going to up my rating from a 7. I think it's going into the 8 or 9 region now. I can't give it a 10 yet. Because I haven't experienced much of the game. I haven't got out in the open water. I haven't experienced that sort of thing. So maybe uh, my opinion will change a bit in uh, my next video or the next video or two away where where we actually get out and we go and explore some of the other islands and, and stuff like that. But for now, guys, I think I'm going to leave the video there. Uh, why is it dark? Um, hello, Red Fred. Um, why is it dark? Because the game's going through the day and night process. It seems to spend a lot of time in the night. Um, right now, hang on, does it do the time? It is now 5, 5, 5.15 in the morning. So yeah, it's pretty dark. Um, it does get light and it does get dark and everything like that. But um, unfortunately at night it does go to sleep. But I... I went to sleep too early so I can't go back to sleep so I'm stuck working in this um, but let's see if you can actually options general can you change that's cool as well because I know in a lot of games I play like on on arc is one example you could just turn your grammar right up and you could see perfectly at night um, it's nice that they've stopped you from doing that, so you actually have to experience the night, um, which is fantastic. But then at the same time, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's absolutely cracking. The reflection on the water is insane. And then you've got some bats flying around, and you've got a nice full moon. It's, it's visually beautiful, and I cannot take that away from this game. Um, but anyway, guys, so that is it for this live stream. If you have enjoyed it, Please don't forget to drop the video a like. It's a massive help as the sun is rising. Can we see the sunrise before we get up? I thought that was the moon. Was that now turning into the sun? I don't know. Let's, let's catch a sunrise. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the stream. If you have, please don't forget to drop it a like. And oh, okay, the sun's over the other side. Okay, that kind of makes sense because the moon's over that side. Um, look at that. Like, come on, you cannot deny that is spectacular, absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the stream, folks. If you have, please don't forget to drop a like. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for coming to join me and check out the stream. Um, if you would like to stay tuned for all, all the future videos and streams that we get up to, like on Thursday now, we have got a live stream of House Flipper. And then on Friday, we've got another new release game to do a live stream on. And that is Deliver Us the Moon, which is another uh, indie survival game that's based on, yeah, the moon. Um, which we're going to have a go up on Friday for our extra stream of the week. But for now, folks, thanks for coming in. Have a nice evening, day or wherever you are in the world. Keep yourselves nice and safe. Happy gaming all. Bye for now.